Hi friends, um, my name is Suzanne and I am an artist from New York and today I am going to be making another apparition uh, painting of the Virgin Mary. I've been painting Marys for quite a few years now and this project is near and dear to my heart. My daughter and I make blot paintings She's autistic and she's an abstract artist. So what I do is uh, we take one of her paintings and then I overlay, um, you know, crosses and Marys or other religious um, paintings on top. And we do this just for the fun of it. There's, you know, there's a few people that like to look at them, but I'm mostly doing it because I enjoyed the painting and, um, Today's apparition is Our Lady of Eschewit. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it would be the apparition that was seen in Egypt on top of the church. So what I do is just kind of go with the painting. Uh, I'm going to use just black to get the general shape. And this is just something that I enjoy doing. Um, you know, if you're a fellow Marian, such as myself, uh, I hope you can appreciate such a thing. But I've been painting Marys now for since 2008. I actually had a dream. And I know people always want to, you know, not believe in different types of things but what do you do when you when you dream something that's just so vivid so but I kind of just go with the painting um, it speaks it's got an, its own language my daughter does the blot paintings and she's just so fantastic like she just is so free and then we just decided, you know, afterwards to do a painting such as this, you know. But I just appreciate the Marian sightings from around the world. You know, a lot of people don't believe in anything. And I personally believe everybody sees something, you know. But... Marys are very important to me. I wouldn't want to dismiss anybody's sightings. Uh, I know myself, I grew up in a Christian family, um, but Mary never had a significant place in my heart until I actually had a dream and the dream was of um, a man in my azalea garden showing me a Virgin Mary statue. And like I said, I, we were from a Christian family, but I never really had her in my heart until that dream. And I've been painting her ever since. And it's brought us, of course, closer to God. Everybody in my family you know, like I, I come from a very religious family, so it's actually nice to now have, you know, things in common with people that I didn't have anything in common with before. But I've been studying the apparitions from around the world now, and it's so amazing to me that so many people from so many walks of life see her and it brings them closer to God, which is a great thing. We live in a terrible world. So basically, I, anytime anybody's brought closer to God, I, I say that's a fabulous thing, you know. But I'm making um, the different paintings of the different worldly apparitions, whether they're venerated or not. Um, I found, the, I have about 60 on my page that I'm going to be painting uh, just my version of it. it it's not actually obviously what the person or persons have seen it's um, mine and my daughter's uh, artwork kind of turned into 
So, for the, you know, I'm going to try to do one a day, but you know how it is. We'll see how it goes. But if you have any other apparitions that I don't have on my list, just send me an email because I would love to have um, every type of worldly Mary apparition. And I know the church's po you know, point of view on it, but I want to include everyone because I think everybody is definitely worth um, painting. You know, Mary comes to different people all over the world. She comes to different people that um, aren't even Christian or Catholics. And that, to me, I find very amazing, you know. But anyway, I'm just going to paint this. I'll stop yammering. I make just a painting on top of a abstract painting and then you just kind of blot it make it as light as possible but obviously I wasn't in Egypt when they when they saw this apparition but I can certainly imagine how exciting it was to have a an hour lady just appear in front of you I said, Our Lady appeared in my garden. And what are the chances of that? You know, it was just a dream and everybody wants to dismiss it. But I personally like having a relationship with God. And I personally like having a relationship with Mary and Jesus, of course. But again... I'm doing this for my own personal reasons. And I'd be friends with you, whether you believed or not. That's just the type of person I am. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have kids and grandkids that may not care now, but may care someday. You know, I won't be here forever, obviously. And when something happens to me, they'll have something pretty to look back on. <laughs> I have my little YouTube channel here, and I don't really, you know, if nobody, if nobody checks in and looks, I don't really mind. I don't mind talking to myself.
Well, I put the name on it. And this was Our Lady of S. Hewitt. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. And I just finish off the edges. And I'm gonna save all of these and make obviously a like a flip through video when I'm done. But when I'm done, I'll probably have over 60, probably have 40 done. I have our ladies from everywhere. But if you have an obscure one, I have all the main ones, but if you have one from somewhere, just send it along because I would love to paint her. Or I would love to paint Mary as you see it. Or maybe you've had a, an encounter or an experience I'd love to hear about. I always like hearing about other people's uh, experiences with God. You know, maybe it's not of um, Mary. Maybe it's of God himself or Jesus or one of the saints. But uh, either way, peace be with all of you. And that's it for today. Bye.